Dear friends in Christ, welcome to Palm Sunday, the Sunday that begins the Holy Week. This is the last Sunday, and next Sunday will be the Easter Sunday. We thank God who has accompanied us throughout the course of our Lenten season as we gradually ascend to the highest point. Let's open ourselves to participate in all the activities of this Holy Week so that we ourselves, through these activities, are at disposition to receive Christ and follow Him in this special way. We might also become holy and live throughout our lives as His own people called His Holiness. Today we shall take the Gospel reading of Mark. Mark chapter 11, verses 1 to 12, which is the reading for the blessing of the palm. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When they drew near to Jerusalem to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you enter it, you will find a cold tide on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, Why do you do this? Say, The Lord has need of it, and will send it back here immediately. And they went away and found a cold tide at the door out in the open street, and they untied it. And those who stood there said to them, What are you doing untying the colt? And they told them what Jesus had said, and they let them go. And they brought the colt to Jesus, and threw the garments on it, and they sat upon it. And many spread their garments on the road, and others spread leafy branches, which they had caught from the fields. And those who went before and those who followed cried out, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is coming. Hosanna in the highest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, at the beginning of this Holy Week, this gospel passage presents to us the triumphant entrance of Jesus to Jerusalem. This act begins his journey. And so this that we call the Holy Week in our celebration, Monday through Saturday, all of this Jesus went through in order to fulfill his mission. Jesus went through all of this too, especially for love of us in response, loving response, I will say, to the will of the Father who sent him into the world to save us. And today entering Jerusalem, was a very, very important aspect of his ministry, of his life, because his passion is going to begin. He will be crucified. He will die, but he will rise again. Being aware of this, he didn't run away. He was focused, and he knew exactly what he was going to do. It is an important thing for us to, to see in these actions of Christ not just something that we commemorate every year, but a reflection of what he invites us to do. Or if you like, the model he wants us to follow. That even being aware of the consequences of our actions, that will make us different from other people, that will make us better people, that will also help us 
to correct other people and we're aware of these consequences that it will draw hatred or even put us in a state of being minority, we should always focus on it and do it. Jesus was not afraid of doing it. Jesus did not refuse to do what he had to do because of the consequences. He knew exactly and so he was resolute about it. In the same way, he invites us to do this, to enter into this mystery, the mystery of course that is colored by love, but more importantly, the mystery that is the fulfillment of God's mission, God's will for each and every one of us. Jesus stands out as an example for us. In our world today, a world that each one thinks about himself, each one thinks about his family, maybe even some just think only about their own country, but the Lord has given the whole world to everyone. And we're supposed to live in communion with each other, to live recognizing the limits that the other person has, and see how we can also help to extend this, to help to broaden this, to help this particular person or people or group of people to, to have a better and higher living standard. But a whole lot of things impede us. Jesus' action shows us the light, shows us the way, shows us how we should also move so that it's not just merely something we celebrate and then it goes off. No, it's supposed to be transformative. It is supposed to lead us to where God wants us to be. I wish to invite us this Sunday to especially take each day of the week as an important day that the Lord has something to talk to us about the spirituality each reading of each of the days in the Holy Week presents to us. I wish to also invite us to see how we can enter into this mystery that we live, being part of it. The action of Jesus today to follow him into and when the passion begins to experience it deep within us. The implication of this is that we should try as much as possible to read the scriptures, to pay attention to how he speaks to us in our hearts, to also take time to pray with the word of God in order to rise with him when on the day of resurrection. It is an invitation that I think is very important for us in our Christian living and also in our working every day. Another very important side is the fact that some of those things that we live, we experience every day. Let's see how we can also through that have a greater and a deeper experience of the love of God that is shown to us. In other words, we see those as means God is using to speak with us, to talk to us, and to ask us to do something good for all the people. Therefore, this week is a week that is important. This week also is a week that we need to live more intensely this mystery of Christ. This week is a week too that can help us to better our own Christian living and help others too. So I invite you to think very deeply, take a little more time to be more to be calm, take a little more time, devote more time to reading the Gospels, take more time to hear God speak to you through other various means around you and let it also be a way that you reflect and respond 
positively to the call of God. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for your love for us. As you went through your passion, your death, and your rose in order to set us free, give us also this grace to follow you on each path of all of this to immerse ourselves in this mystery so that living through it we too will become sources of salvation for our brothers and sisters in the world we ask this through christ our lord amen god bless you and see you next week